really cool. So take a look at this. Right. So as you go through positions now, there's some golf nerdology. This is P1, P2, P3. Okay. And you don't go to P4 because you're just making a wee little shot here. Okay. But there's P3. Buddy, it's awesome. Okay. P7, just a, just a rope show. Getting hips opening, you know, chest opening, appropriate look on no hands right there. Like, this is a joke for a guy who is, you know, an, an admitted high handicapper. He looked like a, like on the left there, looks like a high level golfer. I'm talking two handicapper better hit that pitch shot out there, 70, 80 yards, right? And now let's take a look at your address positions. You feel like your right leg is pretty much ramrod straight, agreed? And we look at it and we know that it's not. Okay, it's got, and, and you can even strain it a little more because you were nine miles away from the golf ball this morning. Okay, and with very little ability to have dynamic balance. Okay, yeah, so the guy on the left looks very golfish. The guy on the right looks like he's the D player on the company scramble. <laughs> No, but I'm just teasing you, but you made a, a massive change already, okay? So, and you've got instincts, great instincts for the weight of the golf club. Like this, the way you shallow and transition right there and collect the ball, I mean, this is stuff that some great players have a hard, not great, but some better to good players have a hard time with. You look money. In fact, you look like a shill right now, okay? So face on stuff, just the comparisons. Cue this up, you know, the hands way forward, yeah. right? Trying to kind of preset impact. Yep. And, you know, we've got you with the clicker on, yeah. power click in a pre click condition, right? Yep. We call this, we call this address hand location. Yeah. You know, so the handle now in your, in your early ones was way super low. Yeah. You know, you've got this handle below the belt line considerably, right? Yeah. You know, and then I'm trying, and now when he stood you up some, it feels even really weird to get this thing, you know, and then I'm, and I'm trying to use um, Daniel Summerhays as your kind of tour model because you're a similar style body to Daniel, okay? You can see how nicely the shaft's more vertical, right? And he's a kid here. He's a thicker adult now, okay? But just he's got a great strike and golf swing. And um, so in comparison... Just watching your progress already. So you're starting form on the right, and you're adjusted starting form on the left. Your feet are flared out. Your right leg's a lot straighter. Okay, it kind of gets your hips in a better position. You know, you're, you just look nice. Now, you still have this a little bit of a, not really letting inertia in you. You kind of force it a little bit. You know, and I'll try to soften that up some. But, I mean, watch how nicely the club goes from this out of line condition, right? People call it lagged right, and then gets delivered into impact like a tour player and then into a nice overtaking position, right, where you rotate or relocate it so good it's stupid. Yeah, and a thin little divot, right? And you can see how much there's a, you know, arm folding and lifting is going on here, right? And you still do, you know, you have a good ability to get the club on the ball, but look at how high this thing's popping out of here, right? Look at that dynamic loft. This is a full shot. That's coming out of there on a launch angle of, let's measure it for fun here. You know, so if I put a, let me put an angle on that bad boy from where it was, where it is now. Yeah, so 45 versus now this club, you know, the, this ball is launching at, you know, so pretty cool, right? You know, so see where this ball is launching? Wow. Yeah. Right? They have the compression change is going to be crazy. Yeah. So there's a strike. That ball is launching at 20 ish, right? With a little bit of a divot, overtaking. Club head starting to now fold your wrists and start to put some stress and fold your elbows, right? Yeah. Where this guy is kind of scoopy scooper's in. The ball launched up here at 45, right? So the guy on the left's got some control now, although you feel freakish. And awkward because yeah. it's it's an it's a new familiar for her, I should say it's it's going to be a new familiar. I mean, let's face it, what's unfamiliar become new. That's it exactly. Okay, so 
a few an obsessive practice guide just to kind of go over the what we did just out, out there. You know, you had, you know, you're way too far away from it, right, and with this kind of look. So now you feel like you're way closer to the golf ball. Your The golf club is got minimal forward lean at address and the handle so that, that you feel like the handle is kind of pointing at your belt buckle to a degree, and it's aiming at or above your belt buckle towards your belly button, right? Okay. You've got your good left hand on there, and in an address hand location, that's clicked. If I had my clicker on, that would be clicked. Now, what I've done, you know, kind of to fight this awkward right arm stuff, believe it or not, it comes from the legs. Because if we're in this kind of squatty knee position, it's pretty tough to have my right arm in a nice spot. But if my leg straightens up, my left knee takes on a little bit more flex, my pelvis moves, rotates some, now my chest squares. You see what I mean? Sure it does. You're pre you're pre turned to a degree, right? Okay. So the left knee's flex, the right leg goes a little bit straighter, and the handle isn't so pressed forward. It's got a degree or two of forward lean, but not much. And now we'll work on how pressure 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 swings the club back through C2 up into C3, rather than just artificially picking it up. But because I'd love for you to feel how it can swing up to that spot, but you can't. Oh no, it sounds good. But you can't be any better than you are here. You're as good as me. You're as good as anybody here and here. It's awesome, right? So that when you just see how good that looks after um, you know a couple hours of grinding on it, you, you know other elements. The club isn't resting on the ground, is it? The club looks like it's on the ground, but it's always measured and it's always right to the tip of the green stuff or the ladybug, as we call it. Okay. And then you're extending, rotating, and relocating perfect. Okay, let's go back outside and grow it a little bit.